You know that moment in a story where the person has gone absolutely to the brink or even beyond somehow and then they come back? You know, it's like their life begins again even though that was impossible. And these are the moments where you get surprised that you're choking up or fighting back tears. Uh, for me, these are, these are the moments where you know, my cynicism or doubt or the distance that I use to sort of protect myself breaks up a little bit and I'm, I'm genuinely moved, even if I can kind of barely believe it. And you know, we might feel at those times like we need to pull ourselves together and get back to real life, but what if those moments are actually more real than anything else? And that's the message of Easter, you know, that love and redemption and resurrection are not just peripheral concerns for moments of inspiration, but they are the actual substance of life. They are worth hearing even in the face of all the pain and difficulty of the world. And so, you know, we need to admit that it's deeply disappointing and disillusioning when someone hijacks that or, or, or takes the name of Jesus and applies it to some agenda that is so, you know, so far removed from his life. And this past year, even recent days, it feels like there's many glaring examples of that. But the real person of Christ is still worth having a look at. Uh, the, the, the life and message of Jesus is the most important offering the world has ever received. And I just don't think that the reasons we find ourselves ignoring that are quite good enough. So I want to invite you from the bottom of my heart to celebrate Easter with us or with some other church that will also tell the real story. I want to invite you to come, to join in. I want to invite you to invite others, uh, you know, not because churches need to be filled or we have to have everyone in, in agreement, but because this is a way to share the greatest possible expression and experience of love available in the world. And you know, we put a ton of hype behind things that are so much less than this. So I want to invite you to come along. Join us for Easter. I want to invite you to invite someone else as well. I'm so pumped that we're going to be having our first uh, gathering in person outside at Pig Beach. It's going to be safe and distance, but it is going to be a raucous celebration of the resurrection. We're also going to have our online broadcast, which is going to be beautiful as well, if that's the option that's better for you. But either way, I, I, I want to invite you to come along, invite someone else to join. Uh, we need you to register as soon as you can so we can prepare for you and be ready um, to, to host on that day. All the details for that are on our website. But the main thing that's on my heart is Easter is a celebration of resurrection. It is a celebration of the lavish love of God and it is absolutely worth it.